As we all know, Guy V. Lewis's two recruits that, that changed Houston Cougar basketball were Elvin Hayes and Don Chaney. But before Guy V. went after Hayes and Chaney, he went after two other prominent basketball recruits. Who were those players, Robert? Well, there were two gentlemen he tried to integrate U of H with, but it was just a little bit too early, a couple of years too early. In 1960, I don't know if any Houston sports fans remember McCoy McElmore. He used to do the color commentary on the Rockets games back in the 80s and early 90s. But he was a big star uh, at Yates High School, right across the street from U of H. But this was 1960, and you know Guy Lewis wanted to help integrate U of H, but it just wasn't time yet. And so he asked McCoy McElmore to go off to a junior college. And McCoy went off to Moberly Junior College in Missouri. And the coach there was Cotton Simmons, who eventually became an NBA coach for the Phoenix Suns. But after a couple of years there, McElmore decided to go to uh, Drake University. He became an All-American there, and then he played 10 years in the NBA, uh, mostly with the Milwaukee Bucks. And then a couple of years later, David Latin, who eventually went to Texas Western and helped them win that national championship in 1966. You know, Latin even said himself when I interviewed him, he wanted to go to U of H in the worst way because it was not far from his house. I mean, Guy Lewis wanted him in the worst way. But U of H was about a year away from integrating, and Guy Lewis wanted David Latin to do the same thing, go off to junior college. But Latin decided to go ahead and go the four-year route, and that's what he did. He ended up at Texas Western and ended up winning a national title. I always thought it would have been interesting to see David Latin and Elvin Hayes and Don Chaney on the same court together for U of H. That would have been uh, pretty awesome. You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.